In this video, I'm going to show you how to exchange session data between the Pro Tools workstation and the Nuendo workstation. The way we do this is by using the AAF format. It's very easy to export an AAF from Pro Tools and then import it into Nuendo. And also, it's just as easy to export an AAF from Nuendo and import it back into Pro Tools. So this way, um, data that comes in from another workstation can be integrated into the Nuage system uh, through the use of the AAF file. So let's take a look. To begin with, we have a, a fairly simple Pro Tools session right here that has you know, some regions, a few tracks. There are some edits here. We even have some clip, clip gain that's included. And all of this information will trans transfer over to the Nuendo workstation through the AAF. So this is, this is the best way to do this. Basically, you want to select all of the tracks that you are going to export. So you don't have to, to export the entire session if only a few of the tracks need to be exported um, over to Nuendo. Once you've selected those tracks, go to the File menu, and under Export, choose the Selected Tracks as New AAF OMF. And up comes this Export window. Now, there are some choices here. Uh, when we're going from uh, Pro Tools to Nuendo, there's no need to enforce the Media Composer compatibility, and there's no need to enforce the Quantize Edits to Frame Boundaries. This way, all of the edits that are in the Pro Tools session will be um, uh, taken over to Nuendo, sample accurately. There won't be any change at all. Then down here, typically the WAV format, 24-bit, was probably the way to go. Uh, depending on your requirements for your particular situation, but uh, those are the defaults. Then we have some options here for the media. Now, if you're able to uh, bring the original media over to the Nuendo workstation, you can use the link to source media option, which makes this process quicker and also saves disk space because you don't have to copy the media from the Pro Tools session. You can use the same source audio files. But if you do want to copy it, um, you can use the copy from source media. And then if you consolidate from the source media, this will eliminate the ability to continually edit the audio in the window. I mean, you, you'll be able to truncate things, but you won't have the entire sound file that these regions are derived from. So in this case, I'm going to use link to source media because I want to have the original audio files as part of the Nuendo project. So, we have the AAF. We don't need to check any of the quantize options or the Media Composer compatibility. Uh, WAV files, 24-bit. We're going to keep the sample rate the same, although if you do need to change the sample rate, you can copy the media and apply sample rate conversions uh, as, as necessary. And then here we go. We can uh, give this uh, a name so that we know uh, what we're looking at when we import it into Nuendo. And now you just need to choose a directory in which to save the AAF um, file itself. So I'm just going to put it in the same folder with the Pro Tools session because I'm going to copy the entire folder over to the Nuendo workstation so that I have all the original source media available in the other workstation. So there you have it. It only takes a second to export an AAF file that is of this nature. Now, it might take a little bit longer if it's a much more complicated sequence, you know, perhaps some dialogue for a feature film or something like that. But generally speaking, it's a pretty quick process if you're linking to the source media because you don't have to copy any audio files at this point. You're just generating the EDL uh, AAF file.